video 1007, 1008, nine. Today is a sad day. This is the room that used to be our old studio and it's, it's bigger now. And full of shit. Eventually when all this stuff gets cleared, this is gonna become a second bike fit studio. We film a lot of bike fit stuff on my channel and because of that, James has got loads and loads and loads and loads of bookings. Almost too many to deal with. Putting a second fit studio in is gonna help with that demand. The reason today is a sad day is because I'm uh, getting rid of these, my lovely, well, they, they used to be lovely. Shimano S5 shoes. Now there is absolutely nothing wrong with this model of shoe. In fact, it's a fantastic model of shoe, but it doesn't fit me. For some reason, the mountain bike ones do. These don't. I've tried the narrow ones sizing up, then I've tried the wide ones in two different sizes. And the thing is with cycling shoes, even more so than normal shoes, they really need to fit. Otherwise they're gonna cause problems. In the words of James, snug, not tight. Probably uh, need new cleats as well. These are special fanny shoes. Oh. They are size 33 and specially made just for you, my friend. We should probably explain for the viewers who don't understand sarcasm, they are not actually size 33. I don't know the, the this name. This is a Lake CX403 custom shoe. It's a heat moldable uh, carbon fiber sole with a PU faux leather upper. It has a, a carbon fiber um, side panels to it, which improve lateral stability. Uh, these particular shoes have been uh, built through the Lake Custom program. So something that we do a lot of in here is we match shoes to bikes. So for referencing this Sato behind me, which has got a red metal filament woven into the carbon fiber, designed a shoe to match it. So when you buy a custom bike in here, we, tech, we, we can build you a pair of shoes to match. So what I did with, with uh, this bike is I, I sent a picture of it over to Lake and they did a load of design and that's the shoe that they came up with. So, it, you know, it's something pretty special. It's a little bit more special than, you know, just, just buying something off the shelf. Probably just say sorry about the drilling noise because uh, the work is still still happening. It is on They're making, making rooms. You've turned, one, you've turned one room into like 20 different rooms. Today is the final day. This is the last day and I can actually breathe. You know, you can't because you got that on. No, well, yes, that's true. You sound a bit like, um, yeah. You can have any colour you want. Uh, we can, we can customise them to however you want them to look. Uh, as long as you kind of stick within the panels. Uh, we strongly recommend that people come in for a shoe fitting before they go down this route because why would you want a really pair of expensive shoes that didn't fit you? Every time someone buys a pair of shoes here, they are subjected to their feet being assessed, measured. Uh, you know, so we measure the bank vice, measure the height and width of the foot, also arch length. We also measure arch drop. And this is for anyone that buys a pair of shoes. You can book online. Following the link with loads of video? Yeah, I'll put it somewhere. We'll put it somewhere. So yeah, they've been they've been on order for a few weeks. Uh, I'm excited to have a pair of road shoes that fit as nicely as my off-road ones because yes. I want to be comfortable. Cool. You can see the other ones don't fit because look, see what see what happens when you do that up. Yeah. And I think that's the that's something to iterate, is that a shoe is only as good as how well it fits. If I have people coming in here with a pair of these that they bought somewhere else and you know it's the wrong shoe for them it's too wide or it's too narrow or it's three sizes too big so i think the, the the moral of the story here is don't buy shoes from people who don't measure your feet and don't understand feet so i'm going to take this out and, to you and take this footbed out because it's no use if you've stumbled on this video and you're new to the channel it's probably worth mentioning that we really don't think insoles that come with shoes are very good i mean that that's not offering any support illustrious Favourite footbed in there, the G8. There aren't enough shoes in here. I've I've got I've got another hundred pairs, no, two hundred pairs of shoes coming in. James and I had a had a conversation recently, and James said that James is my business partner, and he said we need to change the way that we're stocking shoes. This is stupid. I said no. They need to start building shoes faster. We get replenishment orders that Andy's already pre-sold half of them before they even come into the shop. So. Uh, but I think the, the, the point here with, with how we do it here is that uh, when we stock a model of shoe, we do every single size from 36 to 50 in half sizes as well. Normally in a bike shop, even the biggest bike shop in this area will only stock shoes from 41 to 45. What if you're 47? 
the new stuff. We aim to have, and it's not quite there yet, simply because the manufacturers can't keep up with, with the, the, the demand, but we aim to be able to always fit you with the right shoe. So I had quite a, a customer call up yesterday who said, you know, I'm, I'm concerned that I want to book a shoe fit and then for you to find there's no shoes. He said, I'm a size 50. I said, I have five pairs of shoes here for you. Different shapes in size 50. The point is that you have, if you haven't got it, you can't sell it. And, and more importantly, actually, we, we just want to make sure it's the right shoe for the customer. You are sitting. It's not sunny. It's, it's not sunny, mate. Sunny. It's, it's not. so sunny, I could hardly see. Can we go for a ride around the park? Yeah, come on. I've got to test these shoes. Oh, lesson to whiteies, tighties. <laughs> so welcome back to the vlog. I am back here in Richmond Park, as you might have recognised. Why? Well, where you been? I've been up north. And this evening I'm headed over to Bicycle because we've got a very special guest coming over. Who is it? Who is it? You might have heard of him. His name is Teo. And I'm not going to pronounce his surname. My white shoes make me look like I know what I'm doing more. Absolutely. Like, do I look pro? You look, you look so pro. You look like back in the Pedal Heaven days when you were actually elite. I had white shoes then. Yeah, I know. That's what it is. <laughs> That's the secret. Heard it here first. What are you guys doing? You're filming a proper interview. Yeah, we're going to have a bit of a chat because we haven't seen each other for a few years, have we? Careful, I wasn't going to have to put my mask on. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been on a vlog before. So it's like I, mean, first. I, I think, think this is the first time you've been in the video. First. On your videos? No, I meant a vlog in general. Whatever. Is your is yours still considered a vlog or is it? Yeah, it's a vlog at heart. Okay. I'd like it to be kept in the right. I wanted to ask you, because you're about to do a very long, serious interview. Ask you one question. I doubt it's going to be serious. <laughs> You've had a bike fit with James. I've had a bike fit with James. You've won the Giro. I haven't won the Giro yet. What am I doing wrong? No, I'm pretty sure you won more races at Hillenden than me as well. So, uh, well, I don't think if I've ever won a race there. Maybe I'll have to get that next on the list. No, I don't know. I think you just have to keep at it, uh, mate. I think. We all believe in you, Francis. We all know you can do it. So, okay. yeah, baby steps. Keep plugging away. Richmond Park's over there. I've never ridden around there either, so... Uh, it's hard, mate. It's hard. Yeah, I know, I've heard it's hard, yeah. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong, to be fair. Yeah. We'll see. We'll do some laps one day. <laughs> Woo! That's one way to wake up. These guys sent me some spicy energy shots. They're spicy. Now, I'm sure Lawrence's interview with Teo is going to be dropping on his channel in the next couple of days. I'm going to put a link down below to Lawrence's channel. You should go and subscribe to it anyway. Lovely Carbon Lake shoes were fantastic on the way home. I will continue riding them for the next few weeks. They're a lot more aggressively shaped than my other shoes and they really do hug your feet. So I need to spend some proper time in them to really make a verdict. The nice thing about them is that they can be remolded so you can put them back in the oven, heat them up and uh, work out any kinks if there's any hot spots and stuff on your feet. I'm going to leave today's video here. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.